Hey, what's going on? This is another episode of The Reporter. Uh, like I say, a podcast, a version of The Reporter vlog. <laughs> uh, for, uh, for December 6, 2023. Um, uh, December 6, 2023, uh, how y'all doing? Um, started, uh, Episode uh, story, aka story uh, of the day. Uh, two women was carjacked at, at a gunpoint in the same area. So, uh, sparks, sparks warning from Louisville the detectives. Uh, the story brought to you by the WDRB, uh, of course. Uh, but uh, this story pretty much is a warning. Uh, definitely a warning. It's been. Uh, been screamed loud over the years, and, and it needs to be listened to. <laughs> Especially this time of year, it seems like the uh, the deaths are, are the, uh, the the deeds get more hot uh, or do their thing a little bit more this time of the year. But this is just a warning uh, slash story. Let's get right to it. Um, as a licensed therapist. As a licensed therapist in Louisville, Melanie McDermott is used used to helping people, but this week she's finding herself the one that needed uh, needing help, the help. Therapists aren't superheroes, you know. She said, "Well, uh, Monday, we go do things like this too." Last Thursday, she was carjacked at gunpoint in Linden. Though uh, uh, McDermott wanted to keep the exact location private so as to not draw attention for the perpetrators, who uh, she said remain on the on the streets. This was not a little thing. This was a big deal. She said it's uh, been a roller coaster because I don't want to be a victim of anything when it's so very hard to wrap your head around. Oh, I've uh, gone through uh, a traumatic event. Dermot said she was leaving work for uh, for the day when a, a car pulled up beside her. At least three people were, were involved, she said. The driver and two others who got out and approached her. Other people, uh, the other person came from, uh, around the back of my car, pointed a gun in my face and said, give me everything uh, now and it kind of shoved me, uh, McDermott said. I just threw myself flat down on the concrete and I said, it's all there, just take it. Uh, take everything there. It's all there. Just don't hurt me and go. But Dermot isn't alone. Another woman was carjacked at gunpoint just uh, two days later in the same area. Uh, she wouldn't go on the camera for safety reasons, but said it's, it uh, happened around 6.30 p.m. She was. She said officers were able to uh, track down uh, suspects, all juveniles, who, uh, who she said were released and until their court date, because they uh, don't have uh, anything uh, to uh, house them. Police said that third person was carjacked over the weekend near Preston Highway. Uh, um, the Metro Police Detective uh, Daniel Hernandez specifically, ha- uh, specifically uh, handles uh, armed crowd carjacking, said the number of crimes uh, is down 38% since last year. There have been uh, 93 uh, across the city this year. All this with the uh, holidays approaching and more and more people are out and about, he said people need to stay aware wherever their surroundings. I don't, uh, I don't know every, uh, everybody likes to have the moment of uh, to decompress before going inside, uh, Hernandez said. Maybe cut that uh, a little bit shorter. Uh, but uh, aware of everything, or be aware of everything going on around you. If, uh, if possible. And if something doesn't happen, McDermott wants people to know they're not alone and help is out there. For people who have experienced similar incidents, you're not alone. There is help, uh, help she said. You uh, may not understand all the things that, that happened uh, to you afterwards. It's, uh, it's important. It's like a uh, your physical health you to uh, take care of your mental health. Man, oh man. Basically, this is a therapist.
basically, uh, Derbus and the two other ladies get carjacked. Uh, I think two in the same area. Uh, but uh, it's pretty much uh, speaks for itself. Uh, you gotta be aware. You gotta be aware around you. You gotta look around you. You gotta stay alert. Especially this time of the year, cause uh, they they getting crazy. Yeah, even though they are, they, matter of fact, let's put it like this: they are crazy out there. Uh, but not everybody's the same. But uh, man, they are something else. They uh, especially when they see something that, uh, that they uh, uh, like, and uh, that's pretty. And that's something else. When the therapist, uh, who was pretty much like like she said. Uh, uh, in the uh, early on in this article, when the therapist gets jacked and uh, and uh, goes through a traumatic uh, uh, situation, but uh, man, it, it's something else out there. Uh, it really is, uh, like I said, and uh, basically this is pretty much just a, a warning uh, slash story. It, uh, pretty much this. Uh, keep your eyeballs open. Keep your eyes open. Which pretty much that's what it's pretty much saying. Yeah, keep your eyes open because uh, people uh, people watching you, uh, you never know when they're going to strike. Never know when they're going to strike. The crazy thing about it is uh, they say the, uh, uh, let's go to the one part. Yeah, here you go. They say the, uh, They say in Louisville that the carjackings are down. I can find that one part again. Yeah, they say in Louisville, Louisville Metro Police Detective Nathaniel Hernandez specifically handles armed carjackings. Said the number of crimes is down 38% since last year. There have been 93 uh, Across the city this year, so well, somebody like I said, some uh, some may add it up when uh, a carjacking happens in the same place <laughs> on the uh, twice, you know, Preston Highway, pretty much three uh, in uh, two days. But uh, but like, like I said, this, this story pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, you got to uh, keep your eyeballs open uh, and uh, look around. <clears throat> look around you, especially if you're a lady. Get into your uh, car with uh, your arms full. But uh, this is all I got for this one. Uh, this is another episode of The Reporter uh, for uh, December the 6th, 2023, on a Wednesday. Y'all have a good one. I am gone.